few seconds, the launch from Wallops Island off the coast of Virginia seemed to be normal. Then something went wrong. An explosion, and the Antares rocket started falling back to Earth. It's a serious setback for Orbital Science, the private company that built and operated the rocket. It was carrying a Cygnus cargo capsule bound for the International Space Station. It's a tough time to lose a launch vehicle like this and its payload. Uh, it's uh, not as tragic as, as uh, losing a life associated with it, and so we're very happy to report that there were no injuries and the safeguards both in flight and on the ground worked as they should have. The six astronauts currently aboard the space station will have to live without the fresh supplies the Cygnus was carrying. But NASA says it's not a problem. Um, again, I would just... The station's in great shape. The crew's uh, in good shape. We've got plenty of work for them to do on orbit and plenty of supplies on orbit to keep them uh, uh, going for quite some time. However, the loss of the 150 million euro mission is an embarrassment for America's space program. Just hours after the explosion, a Russian rocket successfully took off, also carrying supplies for the space station.